what is going on, you guys? Welcome to one of each, the Dumb and Hungry podcast, where we talk about our food adventures and our favorite food groups. I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. And I'm Mai Chow. And thank you for joining us. Hope you're doing all right. Hey, Mai Chow, how you doing? According to the script, I'm doing great. <laughs> well, uh, good. Let's know. keep it that way. Uh, well, no promises, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> I know. Uh, it's, it's been a minute since, uh, since we last seen you. It's been a while. Yeah, it really has. And um, we've brought you back into the fold. So, unfortunately, <laughs> you're not getting away that easy. <laughs> that. I thought I was free. <laughs> I know. You had a nice break, I'd have to say. Yeah, you were gone for a while, so that helped a lot. <laughs> it's good for the me- the mental health and, and all that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Gotta have my me time, you know? De stress. <laughs> exactly. From this. That's right. This whole thing. Yeah, I can't keep just uh, hovering over you all the time. So, yeah. but. Um, just get ready. There's more to come. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that's, Why? A, that's a good question, but we'll we'll find out as we go along. But regardless, it's nice to nice to see you at least. Yeah, it's the uh, first time doing this in person. Conveniently, there's enough. a lot of firsts. Yeah, a lot, lot of firsts in person, uh, and in person here, I guess, in uh, Casa de. Uh, oh yes, first one at your actual place. Yeah, yeah so. Casa de Dumb. Thank you. <laughs> and <Yes>. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Um, you can tell we have a very high quality production team that uh, puts this all together. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> this is the highest production and quality I've seen out of this whole thing. <laughs> so, you know, it's a step up. It's a huge step up. Uh, maybe. Or maybe we should just go back to our caves and in the internet and just, uh, you know, just do it over that. I mean... I, then I can read it while you're talking. Yeah. So <laughs> you, can, you don't have to like behave, be on, on good behavior. So yeah, I could be on my yeah, phone. You could still read. I'll tell you right now, I'm jumping ahead here. Let uh, you know, I was I, I met up with uh, with Jamie and and uh, Cat, mm-hmm. uh, who uh, our listeners will have met um, by the time this by the time out. this comes okay. out. Um, but you know, they're just on their phones. Oh Jamie's yeah, just like you know. They're just looking, whatever. It's fine. I have no problem. Oh, good. But, yeah. I'm just saying, like, I'm not, I'm not like some other people who are like, what are you doing on your phone? <laughs> <sighs> I, I know you can relate. <laughs> I was going to make a bit of just tuning you out, but that's too pointed. <laughs> that's too relevant right now, you bastards. I know, but uh, you're welcome. <laughs> but, you know, I have no problem with that. Uh, must be nice. Yes. Well, um, Welcome everyone! Uh, thank you for for joining us as we talk about our um, our adventures with good food and uh, about local spots and pop ups, good food, good people, and things in between. Uh, Mike, just since it's been a while, I don't know since we've saw, seen you. What what have you been up to? What's new with you? I don't know. It's been since like January, huh? So I, I guess so. Yeah, mm-hmm. because I I did you know relieve you of this thankfully. Yeah. So back mercifully, in <laughs> that's true because. Um, I realized that, um, you know, we recorded, I don't know, we, it's last time back in January, right? Yeah, it was pre-Texas. Actually, actually the, other, the other episodes I recorded were with Jamie. And, um, you know, we had some, actually some episodes banked up um, for a good, you know, few weeks in January. Yeah. But then it all dropped off. It all went. <laughs> As it should have. As it should have stayed it that way. It should have just been that way. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, quietly sunset the, the whole thing. <laughs> um, no, but, but we're back. So, but yeah, we haven't, we really haven't uh, been able to, to do much with this, um, you know, since then. But um, I mean, partially, you know, out of town is it being out of town. Is yeah. Problem. I mean, it was, it was um, my intent to put together some episodes, you know, in the backlog or something. I had outlines and everything ready for him, but, um, you know, things came up in preparation for, you know, um, from the weeks following. So yeah. it's fine. It happens. Right. Um, so, uh, we'll just come back. Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> just come back. Stronger than ever? No, 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 no. I didn't, no, 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 I didn't no. say that. Those are your words, not mine. <laughs> if you think we're coming back stronger than ever, then sure. You can come back stronger than ever. <laughs> I'll just be around. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, since then, yeah. What uh, what have you been up to? Well, I've moved. Okay, that's that happened. I got an, uh, I started my new job. Cool, unfortunately, cool. Um, that's about it in terms of like big things that have happened. Those are big, yeah, yeah. But small things, I don't know. Haven't I don't know actually. Haven't eaten too much that I can remember. That's but, okay. 
Well, we have things to share today, yeah. which is not a problem. I know I have eaten at a bunch of places, but I don't remember them, unfortunately. I mean, I have my phone for that. Well, tell me, <laughs> tell me at least, you know, you moved um, to, I mean, from where to where? Oh, yeah. So I was like, I moved from, we'll say K-Town-ish. It's very K-Town, pretty close, adjacent maybe. I don't know, but where the same block Jollibee was, mm-hmm. the one on uh, oh, yes. Beverly. Mm-hmm. And now I'm in the middle of Little Tokyo. Mm-hmm. So downtown LA, but uh, Weebville. That's a, <laughs> that's a big change. Yeah, it's pretty good. Unfortunately, it's further from work now, but, you know, swings and roundabouts. Um, well, in the time that you've been there so far, um, have you been able to kind of explore or observe anything in your area that's kind of cool or anything for you? I mean, it's little Tokyo. I used to, like, that's an area where I've been many, many a time. Mm. Uh, but it is interesting living there just because... It's really empty on the weekdays. Like before, when I used to work from home, I would go down for lunch mm-hmm. maybe a, a couple times a week, and uh, it's crazy how empty it gets compared to how how busy it gets on the weekends. Really? Yeah, it's cool. It's nice walking around without having to worry about crowds over there, you mm. know. So, and all the stores are empty enough that you can browse at your leisure. Uh, other than that, nothing too new, I suppose. A couple new restaurants have opened up around. Uh, there's. Our apartment complex has a building, or it's a building, and they have a... We've gotten mail a couple times now about a restaurant that's going to open up with a liquor license. Mm. So I guess they're legally obligated to tell you what kind of restaurant and what, what liquor they're going to serve. So Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Can't wait till it opens because I'm very curious. Yeah. Other than that. Well, I hope you, um, I hope you find yourself in, you know, uh, many new adventures over there. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. It's a pretty cool place. Yeah, and, lots, uh, lots of stuff there. Very, long, very close to Grand Central Market, uh-huh. uh, Sonora Town. Apparently, I just oh, recently uh-huh. found that out. So, yeah. lots of good food around the area. So, I'm excited for that. Definitely. Yeah, more walkable stuff than where I used to live. Okay. Well, can't wait to, can't wait to invade your space. <laughs> yeah. Well, no free parking anymore. <laughs> oh, I know. I saw. I heard. Yeah. It's so crazy. There's that. So I mean, yeah. Even in the the structure, right? Like. Of the complex. Yeah, 2250 max total for the daily max. Wow. But like the best parking you're going to find, if you can't find any meter parking, mm-hmm. is going to be John Iso parking lot uh-huh. on uh, Los Angeles. And no, sorry. Yeah. Well, Los Angeles and uh, First Street. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty cheap. After 5 p.m. every day, it's like three bucks. So that's not bad. I think I'm coming by. After six. Okay. Uh, for the loading zones, yes. <laughs> right, exactly. And the free meters. Right. Yep. So, good call. Good call. That's, uh, that's the plan. But okay. Very cool. Um, well, yeah, it's been, it's been quite, a, quite a very interesting last several, several weeks here. I mean, um, as uh, for those who may have uh, tuned in from maybe our previous episode, uh, when it comes uh, out, uh, I've come back from back-to-back trips. Um, we shared a trip, uh, in Texas, um, for, for a good three or four days. And, um, we're going to talk about that today, uh, going to that. Um, but then the week following, I, um, I went to the Philippines. So we will oh, also man. devote some time to that as well. Not today, but sometime because there's plenty to cover there as well. Very curious on that, honestly. Yeah. Cause I, I haven't been since I was a child. Since so. a child. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, that's even longer than, than for myself. I mean, last time I was there was about 10 years ago. Oh, okay. So it's still a big jump, you yeah. know. Um, but yeah, a lot has changed. But there are things that are familiar and stay the same. Um, mm, cool. But uh, there's there's more to come for those. Um, when we met up with uh, Jamie and Kat, um, we brought over some uh, Filipino snacks for them. Mm, yes. Um, I'll just kind of go into this a little bit. I visited, uh, you, I bought all our snacks at um, uh, the supermarket. Actually, to qualify, it, it's a hypermarket. <laughs> so in the Philippines, you have this uh, this large department store chain called SM. And um, SM is like, I've said this already, Westfield meets Walmart. Yes. They're like everywhere. Not you know. SM Entertainment for whoever listens to K-pop. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, just throwing that out there because that was my, when you said that, that was my first Oh, your first reaction? First reaction like, was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. K-pop producers, yeah. Okay. Well, um, not that I'm aware of affiliation. I don't no, know. definitely not. They were not shoe <laughs> like, They were not shoe <laughs> Okay. All right. Fine. You'll never know. Maybe maybe there's two, something funneling under the Oh, is that what it is? Or, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> 
All right. Well, slander out here. Just all right. In case. Well, SM is a, a well known department store in the Philippines, and uh, they have several malls uh, throughout there, especially in the Metro Manila area. Different sizes, different, you know, all kinds of manner of different stores there. Um, so each SM mall um, has their SM department store, uh, along with all several chains of familiar brands, you know, over there, clothing and retail and whatever. And then they also have uh, markets in the uh, in the malls. So it's an SM market, um, and there are different sizes, uh, and they'll call them in different ways. So you have a supermarket, and then you have larger hypermarkets. Um, and that's um, where I had just grabbed a lot of snacks. Hypermarket is just like a huge supermarket, you know, um, just a lot more groceries, a lot more you know, food stuff to choose from. But then they also have like, you know, non-food things like electronics and Mm -hmm. some clothing in that store, even though they're in a mall, you know, with all those things. (laughs) And I've said too, like they got, you know, the mall has a food court, but um, the SM markets also have a small food court in there, you know? Yeah. Those options Um, are important. (laughs) Yeah. They got, they definitely got options. So no shortage there. But, um, uh, if you haven't checked it out, you you definitely should. Um, we'll we'll uh, go into those. It's very interesting to. Um, uh, it was very nice to have Cat uh, on because um, she kind of has a food science background, mm. and so she nerds out and gets a little technical on you know what she's observing and you know what she, yeah, um, on some of these snacks. And mm. then all, obviously James also always fun to um, have her take on you know what <laughs> what they remind her of and this and that it's <laughs> yeah, it's fun yeah. I, I wish you were there you know um but hopefully we'll get you on another one um but um that's that's a lot of what we have to look forward to um yeah i mean with uh with them too on on that same day we had uh we had we had dinner at uh, in the sgv okay yeah we went to uh this restaurant bistro Nas, which is a Oh, I was, looking, I was thinking about that yeah. before. Yeah, so Bistro Nas is a, it's a very well-known restaurant in the SGV. It's actually Michelin star mm-hmm. rated. They got yeah. one star, uh, which usually signifies the food is excellent. Um, and so we'll have a future episode on that. Mm, um, we, I might actually listen to that It one. was actually our first episode on location. What? I'm telling you, yeah. Production value is going through the roof these days. Well, it was only the audio, but yes, we're, we, go, we're going somewhere. We you're, you're going somewhere with this. I'll, I'll be, I'll be around, <laughs> just on the side. <laughs> we'll pull you along. Uh, <laughs> we'll Kicking throw in the screaming. We'll throw you in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> um, but yeah, we um, we took a portable recorder for uh, and then just kind of recorded our conversation over there um, about our thoughts and some of the dishes that we had. Um, that that was great. Before that, actually, we even had some snacks at a um, at a, a food truck called uh, Los Dorados. It's a trailer. They have several loca- a few locations out in the LA area. We went to one in Highland Park, but they've got one like in downtown uh, El Sereno. You know, several others. But um, yeah, uh, we had a nice had a nice time uh, hanging out that day. So imagine we had we went through all the snacks, and then we still had like a snack, and then we had dinner. Yeah. Sounds normal for you, for you, <laughs> you know. It had uh, it had been a while. Oh, really? So, um, yeah, you're kind of tapping out a little early uh, today, even surprisingly. Well, I mean, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, the, I think we we wor- we worked through it. Yeah, we got it all done. But I'm surprised that you were so full after my my stamina is uh, yeah. kind of changing, huh? Yeah. That horseman status is kind of no, 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 no. You started this. You're you're ending it. It's a <laughs> you're ending with it. That wasn't well. me though, right? That was a uh, that was Chris. Yeah, but you're a founding member, so <laughs> we can't just get rid of you. Can't just leave. Okay. Well, we'll have to live up to the name um, sometime or another. You know. You mean every time? Okay. Every time. Oh man. Well, if you want me to kind of be get on that, then I will say that same weekend. Um, I visited a few spots too. A few. <laughs> Here <Yeah>. we go. <laughs> this is what I'm used to. Come on. <laughs> let, 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 how many? Right, right, right. So after work, I, I went out. I stayed out in the in the West Side. So um, in Venice, they have um, they have the chicken spot from New Orleans that has made its home here called Willie Mays. So Willie Mays makes um, arguably 
uh, probably the best fried chicken in the nation, if not the world. It's a bold claim. Huh? Yeah. Why? How do you? Why are you? This is your claim, not theirs. It's their claim. Or oh, it's, their claim. It's the claim. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and yeah. I thought it was excellent. I thought okay. it was very good. Well, um, we had like a quarter piece, um, quarter quarter bird. quarter bird, like leg and thigh, which I think are the great cuts there. Mm-hmm. I, um, what I prefer, and it comes with like three sides and cornbread. It was filling, like it got me definitely got me full or satisfied. But I don't know. I just thought it was um, it's about twenty five dollars before tax and tip. Mm-hmm. So um, it's I guess to you, um, if you think that's you know worth paying for. For a leg and thigh and three sides. I mean, it's not it's not your run of the mill KFC or anything. Yeah, like yeah, this yeah. is high quality, you know, fried chicken with with skin that is delicate enough, then kind of shatters, but yet the meat inside stays super moist. Hmm. It's kind of unreal, honestly. And okay. if it's that if it's as good as I perceive it to be here, then I imagine one day when uh, maybe pay a visit out there to the Big Easy, then maybe we'll enjoy it there too even more okay i'm thinking of a future trip yeah i I can tell (laughs) (laughs) you you mentioned so um but that that was an enjoyable meal but i think it'll depend on the person if that's worth what paying for you know yeah Yeah. um and then after that next door just literally next door is um is a pizza place called prince street pizza is that right uh yeah which comes from new york and um, they had their original location, I think, in Hollywood or West Hollywood. And uh, now they have, they at least have another one in Venice as well. Okay. So they're known for like New York style pizza. Um, both, well, they've got uh, square slices and they got pretty big slices as well, like regular, you know, pizza slices. Okay. But the square slices are, are pretty sizable. Um, and they're known for, you know, having like, you know, the, just a lot of, like particularly like the pepperoni that's like covering the whole slice and oh, it's like okay. the cupped, you know, pepperoni. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was it was it was nice. I enjoyed that too. Um the crust was um you know it wasn't tough. It's it's firm, you know, it's um it's got some give, but uh it's not like tough or chewy or anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's um it's a solid solid slice, you know. But what is that? I think you would pay, I think I'd pay close to like 7 or $8 for a slice. So again, whether that's worth it for you. Um, and I don't know if that's just, you know, because you're in that area, you know, in Venice, if it commands that type of uh, mm, price pricing. point. I don't yeah. know. Okay. I, I actually don't know what the pricing is over at their other locations here. Mm-hmm. So I have to fact check that and take a look, but no idea. Yeah. It's fine. And then <laughs> because it was already nearby, I feel it feel criminal if I didn't stop by uh, in Santa Monica at Heavy Handed. Mm. So I've been to Heavy Handed uh, previ- you know, before, and they opened their uh, brick and mortar in Santa Monica. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's literally a block from the beach. It's oh, nice on Main Street, just a block. It's it's amazing, really. It's like the perfect location um, for anyone, really. But it's a location that they've really wanted. You know, okay, just a nice burger spot by the beach, and they got it. Nice. So I stopped by there, you know, got, um, the menu's not too complicated. You just get a double with, um, uh, with fries and a drink and soft serve. Nice. Um, and you know, it's just as good as always heavy handed style, you know, a nice double smash burger with, uh, with their heavy, is it the heavy sauce as they call it? Just their special mm. sauce that they put on there and then with pickles and, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's satisfying. It's good. Okay. And then you got a nice portion of fries. Definitely, arguably, some of the, you know, best fries that some of these burger guys put out there. Um, and you know, the soft serve that they get, where where they're sourcing it from, is is so, solid as well. You know, it's you're not going to complain that it's less than ice cream. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's it's nice. Um, but that um, and yeah, that was all in like in the span of like. A couple hours. Mm-hmm. So, uh-huh. see, I'm trying to, you know, it's a return to form in some ways. There's uh, another one here that looks like you didn't mention yet. Mm. Um, give me a second. Oh, right. 
Well, that was another day. Oh, a different day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was on the same line, so I thought you went there after all of this. Yeah, I was, sorry. I was quite impressed. Yeah, so uh, those spots I had gone on uh, the day before, and then and then I hung out with uh, Jamie and Kat, and then the following day, um, I visited uh, Moose mm-hmm. just for lunch. As I was, I was telling you earlier, I ran like, you know, I spent most of the day just kind of running errands, yeah. driving around or whatever, but um, I guess to kind of start it all off, or uh-huh. I had to endure all that <laughs> i i stopped by moose uh for um actually for their burger i was, oh, okay. missed their burger it's a nice thick patty from brisket trimmings and all that mm-hmm. so um has a great flavor um mm. but it's thick you know yeah. um with at least two c's <laughs> um and along that with that tray uh, i ordered a quarter pound of um they have korean pork belly burnt ends oh yeah yeah have you tried that already? I don't think I have. Well, I think I've seen it on the to. menu. But. Yeah, you're right. It's been on the menu. I haven't. I haven't yet had. That was my first time having it, ah. and it was excellent. I mean, it's just solid. No, it's like s- sweet, of course. A little sticky, a little mm-hmm. tangy. Um, you know, it it's a great flavor for uh, for pork belly. Um, so hopefully you get to try it too. But um, along with that, I think I finished it off with some banana pudding so ah, of course yeah of course yeah so it's a good it's a good uh good meal to get me through the day yeah mm. to start you off at least yeah <laughs> um so that was um that was mostly of uh um that past past few days mm-hmm. so and then you know now we're here and um i've dragged you along to a few more eats i guess there's so. one more, but okay. At least this time. Okay. You don't count dessert in there, too? No, that's that's, that's not a meal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's part of the same meal, dessert. Okay. Even though it's a different spot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, all right. Let's get into it. So uh, we went, we visited uh, the Gardena Bowl coffee shop in Gardena, uh, which is has gotten quite a good amount of notoriety in the public eye over the last several years, but it's been a mainstay um, in that community for a very long time. It's, um, it's part of the, you know, it's right next to and part of the building of the Gardena uh, bowling alley, um, which to your surprise is very busy. Yeah. What the hell? (laughs) (laughs) I've never seen such a busy bowling alley. People like to bowl. It's a Monday afternoon. (laughs) I mean, it is what it is. That's just, it's just good for the bowling alley. Let the people bowl. I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Good for them. Good, why, for, good for everyone involved. Yeah, I'm just very surprised. Very why, surprised. Why deprive them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, you know, next uh, in, in that building is, is a cafe, like old school diner style, you know? Um, and it's, it's got a lot of good food leaning um, Hawaiian, yeah. you know? Um, so what, uh, what did we get there? Uh, I just got a hot cake combo with, so it's three pancakes, two eggs, mm-hmm. sausage. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? You had the garlic chicken and the loco moco. Then That's we right. Had the spam masubi and. Well, to be fair, we shared. Yeah. We shared the garlic chicken. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and the spam masubi. Yeah. With the extra, with the side of fried, <laughs> ri- with the fried rice. Yeah. That's right. So the loco moco is just, um, you know. A nice piece of hamburger meat on, uh, in our, in my case, a bed of fried rice with a with a gravy signature gravy sauce on there and a fried egg mm-hmm. over easy in my case. Um, and a pretty sizable plate. These portions yeah, are pretty it's, large. It's pretty good, I think, for good. One. And, uh, and then we shared a order of the garlic chicken as well, which came with um, right the fried rice and mac salad and some broccoli. That's. Um, <laughs> That's more of a decoration, right? Yeah. I mean, to some people, I suppose. It's, yeah, it's like a garnish. Nah. It was it was good it was a good amount of broccoli. Mm. With whatever sauce. Thousand Island, I assume. Yeah, it's interesting. They just slather on yeah. some sauce I mean, that's fine. on the broccoli to make it palatable. I guess. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> people otherwise people don't normally eat it. I that, don't know. That's right. So okay. I mean, yeah, we we did eat it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, um, but overall, I, I thought it was a, you know, yeah, it was good. It's a solid, solid, um, 
spot, Definitely. solid bite. So, and the coffee was pretty good, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Like I normally have more sugar with my coffee, mm-hmm. but they didn't, they didn't need any. Interesting. Honestly, yeah. I'm glad you glad you liked it. Yeah, so that's good. So hopefully we find our way back there, or you know, if you haven't if you haven't paid a visit, pay a visit there and see for yourself. That's uh, in a busy ass bowling alley. Who would have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> But then after we uh, finished it off with some dessert at uh, Contra Creamery mm-hmm. in uh, in Torrance, this is a uh, a small gem, I'd say, in south in the South Bay in Torrance um, that serves small batches of ice cream with unique flavors, uh, definitely Asian leaning with that influence. Yeah, I mean, green Probably, matcha, yeah, roasted yeah. matcha. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, strawberry milk is uh, what else do they have? Cookies and cream with cookies. That's pretty normal. Yeah, uh, vanilla. And there was the other flavor. There's one more. I, you know more. You remember more than I do. I I uh, don't quite have that offhand. It was like an oatmeal <laughs> cookie flavor with something else. Sure. Uh, but yeah, they only have six flavors. At, and then they had the their seasonal pint. Oh, which right. I don't remember what it was. Something white. White sesame. Was yeah, it? probably something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. So they um you know they prepare those on the daily and since you know the, what they make for the day is is all about it and. And so there are several days when they can, many times when they sell out. But thankfully, uh, that was not the case for us. There's plenty to go around. I also yeah. learned that they are very charitable. <laughs> <laughs> but not as that, charitable as you thought. That's right. I had known about their philanthropic uh, <clears throat> efforts, but uh, I guess I thought I was giving them too much, uh, too much credit, I guess. Way too <laughs> much credit, dude. <laughs> Okay, Let, let's let's clean it up th- then. What did you think it was? Well, from the sign I saw, I thought it was like just seventy five percent of the profits go to you know their you know the sign said seventy five cents on every ice cream sold. I see. The one scoop was four dollars. Mm-hmm. In your mind, they were donating three dollars of that. <laughs> well, you said you said profit. So however much the pro- three dollars, what however much of that profit was. Mm-hmm. But in this case. It's just 75 cents flat. <laughs> just flat 75 cents. And he did clarify that it was the ice cream sales. Not, I mean, I thought like, oh, they're sugar cones or something like, it's a dollar, right? So that's 70, you know, 75 cents from that. That's no, 75%. Ice cream sold. <laughs> okay. It doesn't say anything about toppings or, or whatever. Right. On the other hand, that would be wild if you could just buy a sugar cone for a quarter <laughs> and they donate 75 cents to charity. <laughs> like, what? There's the loophole. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm giving to charity, you know? For years you were thinking this. Like, since whenever you first learned it, about Kansha? It's been a while. Yeah. The I, sign clearly says 75 cents. Well, I don't know if I... I'll just say that um, they're, they're much better human beings than I am or may, maybe some others. Yeah. I... Yeah, definitely more than you. <laughs> <laughs> I just take, 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 eat, eat, eat. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's okay. We're sol- you're what solving world hunger? Is that what you're? Oh, that's right, that's right. Because I'm result, I'm um, taking care of my own hunger. Yes, right. So I'm one less. There's one less hungry person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, today there are two, two less hungry people. So that's. Uh, I think that's fine. Oh no, I'm sure I'm, I, we're part of the problem in a hundredfold <laughs> more than more than anything we contributed at all. Well, um, that's regardless that uh, that was Contra Creamery. So make sure you check them out too. Hey, seventy five cents of every of every ice cream sale goes to goes to some charity. What charity? I'm not sure. It says on the sign, but I don't, it does. I only remember the first half because yeah. I needed to correct you on it. <laughs> apparently, he had to specifically get up there and just. Because you were like, Fact check me. you said you were so surprised this place is still around if they donate 75% of profits to charity. <laughs> so, I was like, so I had to read the sign. I was like, wait, no way. And so, sure, yes. sure and enough. We, yeah, we got into a discussion of you yeah. know, my level of reading comprehension. It's just <laughs> non-existent, really. Apparently. Just fabricate my own reality, really. I mean, that's what Americans do, right? Mm. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> of all sorts, excellent. <laughs> well, that was our uh, that was our last several days, huh? That was the last day. Oh. <laughs> that was just today. It feels so long. <laughs> <laughs> what? We are spent. I'm telling you. I mean, to be fair, that food coma is hitting real hard. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty strong. Yeah, but uh, 
still very satisfying. So. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. Well, Good it's place. been a while. We're you know like making up for lost time, really. I mean, for the two of us, sure. But I mean, you've eaten more than that before on occasions between now and last time. I'd say so. Yeah, same. But, but I think you're right. Uh, I'm getting to this point where the stamina is kind of starting to change. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm sure we. Being in each other's presence pushes the other to... It does. It, we motivate each other. In a terrible go. way. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. It's what we call above and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> to the beyond. What was the uh, Michelle Obama's catchphrase? Be better? Be better. Yeah. That's, right. <laughs> That's what we do to each other. Exactly. <laughs> this is how we solve, what is it, child obesity by not having food for children? There you go. More for us. Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry, Michelle. Excellent. Excellent. Well, excellent. Okay. So we had a lot of we've had a lot of fun and uh, look forward to more more fun to come. Really, yeah, fun for some, I suppose. Yeah, mm. Mm. debatable. Yeah. It's a need for us. It is necessity, a compulsion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we should just continue moving right along. Oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more. Son no, I mean like. <laughs> 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 I told you, you're not getting off that easy. So. I thought it would be a nice, concise episode that would be perfect. You know, it would be good. For many podcasts, this is probably going to be as much as a lot of people could tolerate. <laughs> if that, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we've got more to come. So Yeah. What, uh, what else we got on the docket? Well, today I wanted to kind of talk about, well, we again, we have there's a lot we haven't talked about in the last few weeks, so we're just really kind of catching up now. But what I wanted to start off with was... Um, Let's talk about our, our trip to Texas. You okay. know, we, we had a real fun time. At least I thought. <laughs> had yeah. some adventures there. There's uh, no power. Okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit. I mean, power and electricity aside and warmth and, you know, basic necessities. I thought it was fine. <laughs> that's a good trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. It was fun. It was, it was nice hanging out. It was very, been a while since we actually had a group trip. I guess. Yeah, yeah. This, um, this idea had just come up from, I don't know, uh, Several months back, we were just talking about like, you know, we're, 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 we continue to get older and grow up and, you know, a lot of things are, that happen in our lives, you know, um, and we just wanted to see what, um, yeah, we just wanted to see what, uh, what we can do. So, my turn, I'm going to help you out here. <laughs> okay. You give me a blank ass, a blank <laughs> ass uh, outline. Okay. You know what? I, um. Don't worry. That's that's why that's why we're taking care of it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I suppose so. It was email. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, because your outline looked way different from mine at that point. <laughs> I tell you, we have a high high value production team here. Yeah, our producer is yeah. pretty pretty impressive. This one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we uh, we just wanted to take a trip that we you know to get ev- that brings everyone together and that we just get to spend a nice weekend just trying to have fun and eat and you know what and hang out you know yeah. so thank goodness that worked out so um let we'll kind of go through we'll see how much we get through you know and um but it's interesting there are some events that um that happened before uh that that I would know of be aware of and then there are actually certain events that you would be aware of um where where I was yeah. there so yeah. i think what happened is you know, you ended up on a uh, uh, on a separate flight, you know, and um, so you came in a little later than we did. So um, on that first uh, night that we arrived, you know, we had some adventures there, and then um, I ended up leaving early, um, later, like towards the end, take care of some other things, which I can talk about. But um, but you had you the rest of you had kind of stayed yeah. and along. So um, yeah, so. Around this time, uh, this was early Feb, right? Yeah, and, first uh, weekend. Around that time, Texas had experienced some severe winter storms. Maybe not as severe as what they had experienced back in what? in like Last year? Maybe or last year, a couple of years ago. Yeah, recently. Well, you know, around all the, um, you know. The, Where the whole power, the whole last right. power grid went out for the state. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it was hard to recover um, anyone at all at yeah. the time. So those storms hit again, and a lot of power did go out throughout the state, but maybe not as severe as it was, mm-hmm. thankfully, but still a lot of areas were without power. Um, so we, um, <clears throat> with that in mind, um, we contacted our, our host for our Airbnb, 
and we asked them, we, uh, you know, are there any issues, going to be any issues with the power or anything with, with the stay? And uh, they had said that the power had already been restored in their area. And um, at that time, too, the storms were to have cleared up for mm-hmm. us already. So the storms had already passed. We would have just missed them. But, yeah, power still coming back on for a lot of areas, you know. So we still decided, we had a discussion. We still decided to, um, to go with it and, and visit. And so we did. And so um, we took that flight. Uh, it was early Friday morning or something like that. And, um, and before we could check in, probably we arrived in the morning or something. Uh, we arrived, we got our rental car, and then we um, had lunch. So I will, as I go along, I should also say who was with us on this trip. We had pretty much the whole friend group with us, which was very good. So that was, um, that included John and Carmen and, uh, Megan, Jason, and we also had, um, Tomo and, uh, Kunura with us. They were actually on their own adventure. Um, they, uh, I don't know. They, they drove. A, they, yeah. They had their own road trip or something. They visited with some. the baby. Oh yeah. They had a baby. So the little, the little Renji with his cute chubby cheeks and everything. Yeah. yeah. So he was a great addition to this trip. I think so. It was great. Um, really enjoyed his company more than most. So he's the only one I like there <laughs> in the whole state. No, the whole state. The whole state. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's saying a lot. So okay. That, oh yeah, yeah. So that's um. So we had that whole that whole group with us. Um, but um, my child came, joined us later. So the rest of us, uh, we had. Uh, already arrived, and uh, we went to our first food spot um, in Texas, in Austin, which was uh, which is Interstellar uh, Barbecue. So Interstellar um, is, I don't know, at, at the very least, part of the Texas Monthly Top 50 um, list of best barbecue in Texas, and probably means the world. Um, it's actually the Top 50 is a list that's updated every... I want to say three years, and it's a big deal um, in in that realm, in that space. And um, to be on that list speaks a lot, I think, about mm. the quality of barbecue and food that you put out there. Um, Does that list rank them or just lists 50 of the best? You know, uh, at least from this list, uh, from this year, this recent list, um, it definitely ranks the top 10. Okay. And then it lists the rest. The rest there. Okay. Yeah. And where's the uh, interstellar in that? Um, Not in the top ten. Or they are there. Oh, really? No, I think I think they're on the top ten. I don't know. Wow. I think they are. But um, I'm looking right now, even though it's uh, distracting me. It's fine. But yeah, they are definitely um, there. I want to say top ten. Can you fact check me? Yeah, on that? I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but. Um, I think what had happened is that uh, Tomo and Kunara had arrived there before we did, so they were able to get a table, place an order um, before we got there. We got there just in time. What'd you find? Uh, the the most recent list is twenty twenty one. Um, is that right? Uh, that's the f- the top result on Google. I don't know. It's- okay, that's the only one I found. Uh, it's all twenty twenty one, but uh, number two. Well, there you go. What's number one? Is it Goldies? Goldies, yeah. 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 I wish I got there. Dallas-Fort Worth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot in like Dallas that um, I have th- I've had the pleasure to visit, but definitely more that I would like to visit. You can make that a whole trip in itself. Mm. But um, we had, uh, and actually what we'll do, because of our high production value uh, system here, we can, um, we can show the folks back home, uh, even now, uh, some of the highlights of um, of where we went. Yeah, assuming that's still recording and you didn't run out of memory. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. Hey, what are the chances? So this is uh, where we pulled up here. It's uh, in this kind of plaza area. And you can see a lot of trees, you know, were affected from the winter storms. Oh, yes. You know, a lot of down trees, branches, split trees. It's a pretty crazy affair 
but we have their smokers there, huge smokers, and uh, we saw some of the the crew smoking there as we were as we were there too. But there's Interstellar, um, and just behind those doors we have this oh. delicious meal. Too bad you didn't. Uh, you had some of it, right? Yeah. But um, well, we we were able to enjoy. We have some brisket. We have some uh, pork ribs. A couple of there are two types of sausages. I think one was maybe like a, one with a jalapeno cheddar. I think the other one was a kielbasa, if I remember right. Oh, okay. Um, and then and then yes. probably yes, probably um, what we a lot of us probably enjoy the most was the uh, pork belly burnt ends with a peach tea glaze. Look at it. Yeah. Just looking at it, it looks delicious. It was great. And um, and then you can see some turkey in there as well. Uh, yes. But um, Filler. That's filler, right? But, uh, and then we had some sides, beans, mac. Yeah, some, just a whole smattering of, of good sides. So, yeah, that, that was our that was our meal, our first meal there. And I think that was a strong start. I mean, as you said, my child, I mean, just look at that. That's, um, God damn. I know. We did so save good. some for you. That is true. I, yeah. I was able to try it uh, after we warmed it up in the uh, the pan of the Airbnb. Well, yes. Because there's no Because gas stove. works, but... Uh, the stove was electronically controlled. That's so. right. So you had to, uh, what, like manually uh, manually light it? Yeah, for the, sto- for the stove. But we I, I would have pre- preferred to put it in the oven, mm-hmm. but we couldn't do that at right. all. Exactly. So that was our that was our first uh, first meal there. So something we um, really enjoyed. And um, yeah, that was. Uh, I I would also like to um, provide some real time follow up <laughs> as far as our companions on the trip. Um, our good friend Maria also joined. Who is very much part of the friend group. The friend yes, group. Yes. Well, I wasn't sure if I just missed it, so I wanted to. Well, you know me. I, okay. I, I, it's okay, Maria. I didn't forget you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it threw me off, too. I guess uh, my excuse is that she also came on a different flight. Ah, uh, that's fair. That's so fair. that's... But she was there before I was. <laughs> <laughs> different flight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Sorry, Maria. Um, you are you were definitely there, too. Yeah, uh, but yeah. you weren't there yet. Uh, not she wasn't part. here okay. for this part, so okay. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, so she wasn't here. I was going to blame the turkey on her. Yeah, no. For the white meat. Why? You didn't like... I, the turkey turned out pretty good, too. No, it was good, but, like, just the fact that it's, you know, not... What? Tradition... Like, it's not brisket or ribs or... It's it's the vegetable of barbecue, is it not? Uh, Yeah, it is it is a vegetable. Yeah. Don't... So I was going to blame that on Maria. I see. But I guess and I can't. Well, no. Sorry. You're a fool. Yeah, all right. Well, um... We, I think I think overall this was a great a great start I think to the many things to I mean, come. It's the number two place, number two barbecue yeah. in Texas according yeah. to the Texas Monthly. That's amazing. Yeah, and it was good. Even the, whatever I had left, the leftovers I had was great. Yeah. So well, when we were done, uh, we drove around uh, and found a lot of I don't know, damaged trees. So uh-uh. just trying to avoid them. It's just like you know they're all set aside or whatever, but some of them are still on the road, like on yeah. the curb or whatever, and you're just trying to navigate through and try to survive. You know. Yeah. But um, those are just some of the places, some of the trees that we saw. You know, it's just very interesting. I just wonder how it is now, they've, how much they've cleaned up. I mean, it's been it's been about a, a month and a half. I'm sure it's, at least the cleanup should be relatively good. Yeah. At this point. Well, the next stop we made was actually a, not a food spot, so I'm not even sure why I'm bringing it up yeah, at well, all. don't waste the time. <laughs> but a quick, <laughs> a quick mention to a uh, small walk to uh, an overlook called Mount Bonnell. Uh, it overlooks, um, you know, part of the Colorado River, um, you know, so you get to see a nice view, a lot of, um, you know, houses oh, along the river. Houses with ducks. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It is. Not something you can have here in LA. <laughs> no. I mean, you got um, close thing, yeah, like the Venice Canals, you know. Yeah. But uh, definitely but nothing like this. You know? <laughs> yeah, definitely not the same. <laughs> but um, yeah, so Mount Bonnell, just a short like staircase up and then... Then you got this like short path to walk across and uh, walk along the, you know, see the river above or below rather. So it's nice. It's nice. Uh, but afterwards we got hungry. So we got dessert. Yeah, so nice as, as you should. Our next stop here was at um, a spot called Tiny Pies. So Tiny Pies is a small chain of dessert uh, spots in uh, Texas. I think, yeah, there's several in Austin. And as 
is it, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's tiny pies. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have guessed? But uh, we have several flavors here. We have like uh, we have a s'mores flavor. We have pecan. We have like this apple thing, the apple cranberry okay. kind of deal. Um, and I think there's one that's like peanut butter, chocolate, something. Oh, nice. You know. Okay. Oh, I don't remember. What did you? I know we saved you somebody. You remember what you had? It was the s'mores and the apple pie. No, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of them was a key lime as well. So, ah, nice. so if you didn't have it, you can blame Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. She had mentioned, Megan mentioned that um, this concept of tiny pies is um, not all that uncommon. I think you can find them in Australia. Well, they have hand pies, like, in a lot yeah, of places. Yeah, but hand pies are still different. Yeah, like, yeah. I think those are still, like, I don't know. You think it's the same size, but just, like, in a different proportion? Maybe. Because uh, the thing is, like, these ti- this, like, style or whatever tiny pies it's with the actual crust and like traditional pies but just on a smaller scale right but hand pies are kind of like turnovers oh right exactly yes yeah so i don't know if it's the same proportionally for filling and and crust but yeah i now that you're mentioning it yeah i don't know if it's this is definitely like a shrunken down yeah version of basically yeah so just um order sample you know Basically, it's like yeah. bite size. It's uh, the Costco or the Costco free sample section. <laughs> <laughs> but they are sizable. What did you think of the ones that you had? It was pretty good. I like the um, the s'mores was it because I had it like two days later. I think mm-hmm. uh, it held it held on pretty strong. I will say it wasn't. It, it still was pretty good even a couple days later. Like the frosting was yeah, still a couple days later. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. With no refrigeration. <laughs> yeah. So it was pretty good. Dang. But uh, I don't know. Based on what I had, it's just a really small, it's just a smaller pies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Well, I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I mean, they, they were very good. And um, again, if you're out there, just, uh, just try them out. So after, this was already like, you know, early afternoon or something. Mm. So we wanted to check out the, uh, the Airbnb. So we... Um, to check in. Yeah, we had to check in and, yeah. and, um, and just see what the whole situation was over there, you know. So um, from that, we um, we visited there, and there was no power. <laughs> Why am I back to this? I don't know. We've got to fix this. It's not even centered. Like, what did you do? I'm not sure. There you go. See? High quality. We're, we're, it's, it's a work in progress. Don't worry. <laughs> this is as good as it's going to get, my child. It's, it's, I did it in post. <laughs> <laughs> what post? <laughs> <laughs> you still got to... They still got to, uh, oh, you just upload, upload the raw footage. Right, raw exactly. Just as is, huh? uh, okay. I respect it. I respect it. Um, so we checked into the Airbnb and there's still no power. You know, there's, yeah, there's still no power. I think um, we just hung around and just waited out. You know, it was, there was still daylight. So light coming through, we yeah. could still hang out. Um, but we had to kind of think about what we were going to do. You mm-hmm. know, um, in the meantime, um, around that time, we did pick up Maria. Who is also part of this trip <laughs> and is also part of our friend group. Not, <laughs> not to, just to make things, uh, set things straight here, okay? Mm. Um, but to anticipate, you know, if we were going to continue to stay at the Airbnb and be without power, um, we needed supplies. Mm-hmm. So we visited um, the good old H-E-B. Heb. Heb. <laughs> El Heb. <laughs> good old H-E-B. Um, very well known uh, chain of groceries and uh, shops in uh, in Texas, and um, we wanted to get candles, right? So that was um, that made sense because. But apparently, we weren't the only people with that idea. <laughs> Everyone else and their mother also thought of getting candles. Yeah, so makes sense. H E B for me, I think, is like um, I feel like it's food for less meats. Oh, it's here. Food for less meets CVS. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like the just this general size, maybe the average size of an HEB with even the, the uh, you know, just like the styling, I guess. The kind of the whole vibe of the... Of CVS. Yeah. Yeah. Well, food for less for the food stuff. Uh, but then they also have a pharmacy. That's why. Mm, you know. Okay. But very popular spot. Very interesting. Um, But... We couldn't, so there was like a short supply really of these candles, 
you know, because there's not much to, I don't know, not much to go around. Yeah. So we tried to figure out what to do, but thankfully there was some divine intervention <laughs> in, uh, in what we, what we had. So what this is for our listeners is there's a cart, um, and on the basket, uh, we have a row of candles, but, uh, with, um, with the likenesses of various, uh, divine personalities and figures in here. We have, um, we have, uh, the Lord Jesus himself, um, both in, uh, I don't know what pose that is in the middle there, but, uh, maybe that's not even Christ I himself. I don't think it is. His hair's too short. Yeah. It's a little too slick. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have Christ there. Um, <laughs> On the well, other side there. Clearly, we're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. No. <laughs> well, there he is. Uh, but we have the archangel as well. Um, some angels and various saints. All right. So we had enough candles to go around. Maybe one for each. And, um, but we, I think, who is it? I forgot who mentioned it. It's like, someone did. Maybe you had mentioned it to someone in the group. Like, these are not meant for like, used to actual light yeah to light like regularly or like constantly or something i don't know like i know i mentioned that because i know like the candles we have at home my mom never lights but it could just be she's paranoid that it's going to catch fire for the rest of the for the rest of the apartment i don't know but well, we've i never think lit our, i think they're more candles. cosmetic than anything the, uh, the flames do not really uh provide much of an actual <laughs> light despite the divine role of providing a guiding light what do you mean? In the dark, that's all we had, and it was good enough to not trip over ourselves. I see. Well, we were still protected. Yeah, yeah. very. So, um, thank you. But yeah, we, we just grabbed supplies. We also, you know, got flashlights and a snack and, you know, different things like that. So, I don't know. It, uh, it was pretty good. But it was very cold. So, yeah. Um, but we didn't want to worry about that. So we went to dinner. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, I wanted to show this one here, even though it's not directly related to dinner before we had dinner, you know, we, we had checked in and then, um, they, they had to actually, we walked, we walked up and it was about uh, maybe an hour wait for our table. So we went to the store across the street and, uh, they had these fine wines here, as you can see, <laughs> fine, fine names. names of wines. <laughs> What do we have? We have a fabulously full-bodied Le Fat Bastard. <laughs> Chardonnay. As well as a Lil Bastardo. <laughs> oh, was it Lil? I thought it was Ill. Uh, or maybe it is. For the Italian, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a little Bastardo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he looks, <laughs> definitely looks it. Oh, man. That was a good find. <laughs> that was a good find. Um, but yeah, and then we visited like a thrift shop across uh also ah. nearby you know just like used wares you know and yeah. clothing and things like that but hip and stylish as well mm. i think tomo got a jacket from there oh, or nice. something like that but but um once the time came we had dinner at this place called via 313 pizza mm. they serve detroit style pizza i uh did not have time to remember to check what kind of pizza we <laughs> ordered what? Can you please look up the menu for me? <laughs> what do you mean you didn't have time to check what you ordered? I forgot to put it in the outline. So uh, but, I see, I see. But we can uh, see here. There is a. It's a square, square pizza. We got like three or four what different. What is that? Is that butter? No, it's not. But uh, that's why you're gonna look up the menu so I can see if it's on there. But uh, we had different types of pizza. We thought they were quite good, or maybe we were just hungry. But I thought it was. I thought it was pretty good. So. That's um, not... It. Well, no, it's the whole menu. That's the whole menu, and it comes with pictures. That's pretty good. Um, that's not what we had. That's not what we had. Neither is that. <laughs> well is prepared, it, this, this episode. Is it called the Detroiter? I have no idea. Probably not that or that. Oh, I'm going to jump to this one here. It's called the Cadillac. The Cadillac was uh, definitely nice, and I have to look up what it comes with. It's Gorgonzola fig preserves, prosciutto, parmesan, and a balsamic glaze. Mm. And it really lives up. It's a nice, you know, it's almost like having charcuterie board in a pizza. In a pizza, okay. It's quite good, actually. Well, yeah, just yeah. replace the cracker with a pizza crust. Yeah, absolutely. It looks good. I want to say that 
I don't know anything else that we had. Oh, God, give me that. <laughs> Hold on. And then there's something here with like a vegetable or something. That's Maria's fault. Okay. I don't... <laughs> I'm a blamer for that, even though I wasn't there. I'm sure oh, it was her fault. Oh, my gosh. Was this the Bobo? Someone had um, something hot calibre sausage. No, maybe not. Maybe this one's the omnivore because maybe if there's mushroom and uh, onion and green pepper in there, I see it. that could be it. All of those things. Yeah. I think the one behind it could be the Bobo Brazil because I think we had one that had sausage, red pepper flakes and with like a hot honey. Mm, okay. um, and then probably the first one we saw was possibly the Detroiter. Okay. So what is on the Detroiter? Because that looks like butter. Dollops of butter. <laughs> it just says smoked pepperoni under the cheese, natural casing pepperoni on top. So, or it could be the ambassador. Hold on, let's go back. This is a terrible uh, preparation for this. Uh, <laughs> we've been <laughs> spending too much time on this. <laughs> the ambassador comes with sausage, uh, pepperoni, garlic, oregano, ricotta, right? It could be the ricotta. Okay. That's a lot, but okay. Um, hey, if anyone else is uh, listening to this, particularly from the friend group, um, <laughs> please. None of us, nobody listens to this no, from the friend group. You're right. Maria is the very rare exception. <laughs> That's right. Um, was, she, was she there already? Mm. Yeah, she should have been. You already said you picked her up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> We're going to move right along here. <laughs> oh. That was good pizza, okay? <laughs> so I can tell you. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, we'll jump to this in a little bit, but yeah, we, um, we, it was good. That's all I can say. But uh, after that, then it was time to pick you up. Okay. So yeah. We uh, made our way to the airport and then we came back. Um, the place was still without power. Yeah. And it was very cold. So. I don't know. I was getting to a point where I thought, like, what are we gonna do? You know, are we gonna are we gonna um, tough it out, or are we gonna consider like other options? So it got to the point where we knew that uh, Tomo was actually staying at a hotel nearby that had power. That had power, thank God. So we called the hotel. I called them and asked if there was any vacancies, and uh, we had a very nice lady that helped us. Very nice lady of our kind, our yes, people, well, as they expected. Yes, a nice. Um, Nice Filipino woman. Um, do you remember her name? I never got her name. I want to say it was Daisy. Okay. We'll just say that. Sure. 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 But um, you're the one who sh- should have gotten her name. Well, that's why I was asking if you happen to remember. You're the only one who talked to her. Yeah, but you were there at the check uh, the checking counter too. Yeah, well. Okay. Um, she helped us out. Uh, it's already like midnight. It's so late. It was like closer to two, honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, you're right. So... You know, half of us went to the hotel while the other half stayed. Yeah. I think they would have been, it wasn't that bad, honestly. It would have been fine. <laughs> for, for the one night, it would have been fine. But the fact that the power didn't come back until even after, that was that would have been a problem. Yeah. But thankfully, um, our host was, you know, very understanding uh, considering the circumstances. So yeah. he refunded us our stay. You know, and so the next day, like everyone moved over to the hotel, right? So, yeah, thankfully, very uh, relieved about that. So, I mean, it would have been nice if we had the space of the Airbnb to hang out, of course, and you know, just you know, spend time with each other. But yeah, I don't know. Um, Texas had other plans for us. Yeah, so. but you know, it's fine. Nice Daisy, I guess. She was very uh, friendly about everything. Yeah, absolutely. Very accommodating. Very patient because. I think like because of the power outage, you know, they had to take all the reservations and requests by, by hand. Pen and paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the computer systems were just like not cooperating at all. So it was a mess. Yeah. And I think there were other people who, of course, wanted to stay as well. And it was it was really a mess. Yeah. To be fair, like the people were in front of us in the check in counter. They went to the their their room. They got a key to a room that was already booked. Oh, yeah, it. that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They walked in on some people already in the room. Yeah. That's uh, no bueno. Yeah. Thankfully. Yeah. Uh, Thankfully, we didn't get caught up in that. Yeah. Um, so they did give us rooms that were, in fact, available. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hampton Inn at uh, Cedar Park, I think. 
All right, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so now we're in day two, you know. Again, the Airbnb was still without power, so we're all in the hotel now. Unfortunately, because we slept so late, we woke up pretty late, or I decided to. Yeah, I mean, and jet lag will do that. Yeah. So, unfortunately, we couldn't have breakfast uh, where we wanted to at Valentina's. Yeah. But continental breakfast from the hotel. Yeah. So, you know, that was nice. That was convenient. Yep. So, thank goodness for conveniences there. But we decided to start our day um, at the archery range, which is the picture that um, was brought up just previously. But So, we have the archery range here in Austin, indoor, and um, it was pretty good. Um, I... Didn't pull too many pictures that have us in there right now, but you can see here we have this indoor space with some targets that are closer, about halfway um, through, and then we have targets farther in the back. And when's the last time you had done any sort of archery? Um, I'd say last year at the uh, Renaissance what? Fair. Oh. Because they, they always have archery at the Renaissance Fair. It's not the same because yeah. it's a little more rushed kind of thing, mm -hmm. but... It was cool. Like before that, it probably would have been 2017. Mm -hmm. There's an archery range out in Palmdale that I went to. So that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been a long time and uh, this was a lot of fun, I will say. Because yeah. I've always liked stuff like archery or doing activities over food. That's pretty you know, good. Surprisingly. I um, I also had my hand in archery in years back. I used to uh -huh. go to used to go to summer camp. Oh, and, really? Um, those were just one of the activities that we would do. Yeah. Uh, not that I was any good at it, but I did it. Yeah. I could say I did More it. More than you did here, I'm sure. Right. I, I did my round and then... Yeah, the one round. <laughs> and then I, I'll let the others let the others fly. Your adverse... So. Your your aversion to archery and ranges in general, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. I enjoyed it. Sure um, you did. <laughs> I sure did. I had a great time. <laughs> um, but the crew there was very nice. They very were. welcoming. You yeah. Know? And uh, from the actual, in the actual um, archering, uh, I think we should uh, give recognition to Carmen. I think she, I think someone we consider the most improved. During our time um, there, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Because she, yeah, she definitely really got, really got focused on Yeah, it. within that hour, yeah. Yeah. But you also got to mention Jason then at that point, because he was, he was just on it <laughs> from the start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he said he almost got into archery when he was in college, so. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I think just in general for me, not just archery, but any sort of sport, anything that requires hand-eye coordination, it's not for me. <laughs> it's just not. It's not up my alley. Don't you kind of need some hand-eye for cooking? Yeah, that's why I like eating out. A lot. <laughs> Is that why? But um, probably not as. No, not as much as, uh, you know, having to hit a target or something. Yeah, that's fair. But uh, that that was, um, I thought that was fun. What about you? Yeah, of course. I mean, archery in general is fun. Um, I just like shooting things at targets, whether it's archery or a gun or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Okay, like cool. Darts even. It's fun. Yeah, no, very nice. Um, well, after we were obviously very, uh, we were famished, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's the word by to describe it. By, uh, your standards. That's yes. right. <laughs> so it's like, so we need to, need to, um, uh, we, we need, we need to satiate our, um, our hunger. So we stopped at our next food stop. Um, in this case, it was, uh, Leroy and Lewis. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So Leroy and Lewis is, um, is probably what a lot of people called new school barbecue, Actually, what, that's what they call themselves, too. Yeah. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. It's on there. You can read oh. it. <laughs> New school barbecue, old school service. There it's on go. their truck. <laughs> you see this thing about reading? It's a problem, okay? <laughs> need some help with that. Oh, my God. <laughs> but um, Lorraine Lewis is also on somewhere there in the top 50. Top five. They're number five on the list. There you go. Yeah. Fantastic. So I think um, people like this, may maybe because they get, they get a lot of exposure from there, but I, I think um, a lot of the dishes that they make are also very good. They may not focus or hone in on uh, the traditional Texas uh, menu. I think this is part of where this new school barbecue comes from. Mm -hmm. They do serve those items, brisket, you know, ribs, ribs yeah. things like that. But um, 
we'll tell you about the the dishes that we had um, in a bit. But um, it sits in a large kind of kind of large uh, park, I think, like um, space where yeah. other food trailers and and things and um, just other businesses are at. Actually, it's right across from um, the climbing gym that Megan and Jason wanted to check out. Yeah. But it's in a big area, but it's very inviting, you know, very nice and big. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of tables, a lot of seating. It's just a nice, just a great space. You know, I really, uh, I really dig it. And so I think that's what makes the experience uh, just that much more enjoyable. Yeah. Um, but And they got a beer, uh, uh, they have a beer garden. So yeah. alcohol is allowed throughout that entire thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So. so you can get a little bit of everything over there. So coffee. Yeah. And it's not, yeah, food wise, it's not just them. They've got, they got other trailers there too. Yeah. But you can kind of see off here, like we've got, um, we've got a, quite a line building up. And so that was, uh, definitely some time to wait. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it was over an hour. Oh boy. It's not like the worst line. It's been a we've while been since we've, uh, we've done our share of line waiting, huh? That is true though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But, um, it's okay. We, we survived it at a good time still. Yeah, of course. But this was our meal. Um, and part of uh, many parts of the menu here, we have we have some beef cheek, which I think is oh, probably their signature uh, dish. Uh-huh. It's probably what they're best known for. Um, I think it's our group's favorite item. I think so. so uh, yeah. But we also have an offering here of barbacoa, yeah, which is good. usually a smoke. It should be still a smoke like a uh, cow's head or something like that. Um, and then we also have some pulled pork but it's more of a carolina style because you have some bits of uh you know pork rind kind of thing in there for the extra crunch typically it's like the pork skin in Mm. the carolina style so this kind of chicharron kind of thing on there um uh, reminds you of that um and some i forget what kind of sausage we had but there's sausage there as well i don't know we'll look that up i'm not sure but then we had various sides as well we had um we had some kimchi Kind of side salad there. Just straight um, up kimchi. It was just kimchi. <laughs> Wasn't it? Well, I think there was some, not just straight up kimchi. Oh, it wasn't? You want to fact check me? I, sp- I, mean, I suppose I, I should. I think you should. Um, there's also some Frito pie on there. So mm-hmm. Frito pie is just uh, literally free, like a, a bed of ch- uh, Fritos with like topped with chili and cheese and onion and things. Um, and there's also a, um, oh my, what do we call it? Like a pork hash. It's um, on a bed of rice and just, mm. just very, very uh, strong pork flavored um, kind of topping on there. So it's house made kimchi. That's all it says on the menu. That's the. St- <laughs> so it's just straight up kimchi, fool. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, in addition, we also had uh, what was that dessert? This dessert here. Cheddar cheese cream, uh, cream cheese, right? Cheddar cream cheese. Cheesecake, right? Cheesecake, yeah. Yeah, I think you took a liking to that. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. That was the best item on the menu. <laughs> what did you like about it? I mean, it's just, it's got the, the creaminess of a cream, a regular cheesecake, right. but it's cheddar. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I love cheese. Mm-hmm. You and I are one of the, a couple of the only ones in the group who has eaten cream cheese on its own. <laughs> Correct. Uh, By the bar. Yeah. So you can understand my love for cream cheese. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. add a cheddar flavor to it. It's good. It was. Yeah. It was. And then the um, I didn't care about the the chip on top, uh-huh. but the uh, what was the the fruit puree or whatever? It was a fruit. Yeah, it's fruit. Why did you look that up? Uh, Ritz crust apple apple butter. Oh, yeah, the apple butter was good too. It adds a nice little thing uh-huh. to it. Yeah. But even without that, I would just eat that cream cheese all day. I could eat a whole round, an eight ounce round, eight inch. We should have just bought the whole the whole cake if we could have. I would have been so dead. I know. <laughs> It's six dollars a slice, I believe. But yeah, uh, that is correct. Yeah, that was enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the group, though, not so uh, enthused. No. <laughs> what do they know? <laughs> <laughs> they know nothing. Um, <clears throat> so that was a that was a good bite, you know. Um, now, you know, it's interesting to see, you know, how the departure of the offering here from like a traditional Texas barbecue menu again you're used to seeing brisket ribs uh, and sausage and i will say part of the reason was because they had sold out of those items <laughs> yeah <laughs> by the time we got there that it had already sold out of the whatever ribs they were serving and then like partway through the line they had sold out of the brisket 
So, oh, interesting. It's called a Citra Hop Pork Sausage. Okay. Uh, uh, what does that mean? I don't know. There must be beer in there. And or there the, must the be beer. orange. <laughs> yeah, something something Maybe. citrusy. Also, they have calif- cauliflower burnt ends. Did we have that? No, no we I did don't not. Think we Thank did. God. But what's the point? I think that sold out too. Yeah. To, why? Maybe to why? your relief. I, more like you, you were going to get some if I it think, wasn't? I think that was one of like the signature items as well. Why would so you do we this? probably would have. Well, again, there are other people in the group we have to be considered. No, 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 no. Uh, That's why there's a salad thing I didn't even bother mentioning earlier. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you also didn't mention the burger. Oh, yeah. Do I have the burger there? Let me see. The burger. It is. It's there. So the burger is a a thick patty smoked uh, burger uh, with uh, pretty sharp cheddar cheese on there and pickle, and I think a sauce as well, um, on a what I think is a potato bun, but Correct. it is a plushy bun. Um, the burger itself, I mean, as someone who enjoys their burgers, I thought it was a solid burger. The closest comparison, obviously, that I have in my limited scope. Um, Still, uh, is the smoked burger from uh, from Moose? Ah, okay. And um, mm. there are a lot of things that reminded me of it. Of course, the size, just kind of biting into it, um, that smoky flavor, obviously from the brisket. Mm-hmm. Um, they, you know, this got a lot of recognition, particularly from um, that show, Somebody Feed Phil, you know, with oh. Phil Rosenthal. And so this was one of the places that he visited, and. Um, it certainly got a lot more visibility since then. And people definitely dig this burger. Um, I like it too, but I'm also reminded we have, like I'm reminded, oh, I have this, there's this burger from Moose as well. And Heritage too. They they also have their smoked burger, which I, man, that, that memory of whether it's, <laughs> I'm fabricating my own memory if I've had it. But they have similar burgers, like they're thick, they're smoked, right? Yeah. So um, I just know that what we have here is, I mean, it's top tier, okay. in my opinion. Like, it's excellent. And so this is up there, too. But it's, uh, in this case, it's like I don't have to fly all the way out there just to enjoy it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so if it's on the menu, sure, I'm going to try it. But okay. I'm just happy that we have um, options here. Options here. Okay. You know? So, but it was a good burger. Did you get a bite? I did. Okay. And yeah, it's fine. I'll take it over like a McDonald's cheeseburger. Yeah. Okay. Which is saying a lot, honestly. I love McDonald's cheeseburgers. Mm. Which is also why I really like uh, burgers never say die. Oh yeah. But okay. Swings around the butts. I hear you. So after um, after our meal, um, we <laughs> so we have a picture here actually of. Um, uh, area called Barton Springs, which is a pool, actually a natural, interesting they put it, a natural man-made pool. <laughs> because, <laughs> All right. Natural because... It's in the Colorado know, River. It's literally part of the Colorado yeah. River, but it's man-made because they... They just sectioned it off? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. But it's um, it's a sizable, very large, sizable pool. Yeah. Um, and the pro tip is if you just want to walk around... You can. And actually, if you want to swim in there, technically you can. Yeah, there are people swimming. But um, you can go there for free during these months here, like the winter months. Oh, really? Yeah. Because uh, okay. um, they'll start charging again probably around this time, like, yeah. you know, spring or whatever. But um, before that, if you want that period of time, you're welcome to jump on in, you know, for there free. Were, there were a decent amount of people who were in there. So because I hadn't, uh, when I when I visited um, from a previous trip, I had stopped by here, but, you know, it was... Oh, summertime. Yeah. So okay. I'm not going to pay whatever. But um, just to walk around. Right. Yeah. But this was uh, this was nice. But be- before we visited this, we went on a quote, so-called hike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a uh, series of trails, um, one known as the Greenbelt Trail. Um, and so we started off, we parked in a... Corporate center? Corporate center. <laughs> like, corporate like center. if you know Corporate Center Drive in Alhambra, it yeah. was like that. <laughs> yeah, just a bunch of business buildings and a yeah. big parking lot. But the trail you know, does start off there. Somehow, yes. And we tried to follow the map to a certain extent, and we came up to a dry riverbed, and then we walked a little bit farther, 
And somehow we just didn't know where we were going, but somehow we found our way back into the other side of the corporate drive parking yeah. lot. <laughs> and so um, I think... And we just called it. <laughs> exactly. We're like, so, all right, fuck it. Let's go to the other. It was good enough. Probably yeah. like half a mile's worth of walking. And so we uh, made our way back and then made our way back here to uh, Barton Springs. So that's fine. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. We, uh, we ended up walking a little more at the other location anyway. We did. Like from here. Yeah. Here's another view of the... Uh, oh, that's nice. It's it's great. It's um, it's really cool. Yeah. It was very cool. And I'm sure people enjoy this a lot during uh, during the summer months. You mm-hmm. know? But this was another spot that we visited uh, while we were there. Um, it was a, it's a viewpoint called the Lou Neff. Lou Neff. And so this was a great place where you can catch the sunset, you know, overlooking the river and you see the city line over there. Yeah. Um, uh, it was at this point in the hike or in the trip, sorry, that, uh, we, people started discussing with me at least that you were determined to kill the group as, uh, by the end of the trip because mm-hmm. you're driving the wrong way on the, on the roads. Mm-hmm. You were, uh, we were just walking in the middle of nowhere. What are you talking about? What? This whole thing? We were like, we went under a bridge and we were like, oh. Yeah, but there was a plan here. Nobody knew this plan but you. (laughs) (laughs) We're like, oh, yes. Because you were. I just said, follow me. Yeah. Into these, into this dark ass area (laughs) under the bridge where there's, we were probably going to die or you could, you could get rid of a body and nobody would know. But then, but did you die? No. Then at the time we weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> now the uh the driving situation, you know, that I blame that on um on Texas. On right, Austin. Right. <laughs> is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. You know? What happened there? I don't know. Cause apparently before you picked me up, like I guess it was on the Friday. Oh, it was before. Yeah, it was before I was there. They oh. were saying that you went on the wrong like you turned onto one way street the wrong way. Mm. Uh ah uh, yes, and then I Managed to turn into an alley to get us back to the other road. Yeah, but then um, when I got to the when I got to the other end of the alley, uh, I creeped in a little too far, and uh, there was another vehicle oh, that was really? coming from uh, you know cross traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we missed that. Okay, no uh, problem. I, it's not a big deal. I didn't know about that. Part. <laughs> oh, oh <geez>. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we did. made it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But they were there. There were, and then it was after. Because it was at, uh, or as we were leaving Leroy and Lewis, mm-hmm. you drove, you almost started driving off with the doors open, like Carmen, one leg in the, or was it John, one leg in the car, one leg out of the car, and there's still someone else on the sidewalk. You were starting to pull away already. We are on a time schedule. <laughs> 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 we got things to do, okay? We got places. With or without the whole group, apparently. <laughs> If they can't keep up, oh, is that word? That's on them. <laughs> they know the itinerary. It's on the Google sheet. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're not wrong. The, oh man, the highly unfollowed Google sheet. That's but okay. Right. That's right. Um. So the, yeah, and then well, this, I this think, walk. I think we survived. I don't think there was any harm. Yeah. Well, the sun was also starting to set at this point. Right. So it was getting close to darkness, and we we're like, "Where the hell are we going?" Kind of thing. Right. So you know. Again, there's a lot of skepticism in the group there of their safety. Oh, my God. You guys are too, <laughs> you're so uptight. <laughs> Just trust me. Okay. Uh, all right. Aladdin. Have I ever done you? Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> don't answer that. And I'm packing house. Okay. <laughs> uh, which, what was it? Was it Baldwin's or that we were supposed to meet Jamie at a bar and oh, we went uh-huh. to the wrong one? Okay. There was the wrong um, Leo's Tacos that we went to as well. There are many... Uh, before this trip, there are many instances of going to the wrong place. But did you die? <laughs> uh, there are many close calls. <laughs> close but, you know, I guess it doesn't count. <laughs> then you're fine. <laughs> not like stress is a is a thing that matters long term or anything. No, of course not. Nothing like that. But it is nice, though. I did enjoy this view. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, if you get to, it's Lunef Point. Yeah. You get a Where's your dating catch. profile picture that you took here? Moving on. <laughs> um... We didn't, did we go here before or after? Shoot. No, we had ice cream. This was before we went to uh, Jew Boy. Yeah. Okay. This was in a, like a yeah shopping center. I forget where. But it's called Lick. Lick. Mm-hmm. And this was pretty good. I thought it was okay. Um, yeah. yeah. I, th- I think the ice cream that I had was a little too icy for my taste. But um, overall, I thought it was it was good. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't, I don't even remember what I had flavor wise. I'd have to look that up. I mean, it's been over a month to be fair. Yeah. It would have been nice if I had a half a brain and just kind of take a reactions on location, but it's fine. <laughs> this is more of a, this is more of just a, yeah, that was just a pit stop because we had time to kill. Yeah. So our next stop, um, after that was, uh, Jew boy. So Jew boy, if you, if you have that lined up there no, is a, yeah. it's like a burger chain. Um, oh, chain? well, they have a few, they have a few locations that focus on different, like different types of, uh, the food, but, um, this, the appeal of this, I think is just kind of the overall vibe and, um, you know, the environment, I think of, um, of what you get from this spot. It's, uh, a mix like influences of Jewish and Mexican, um, kind of culture and, things and probably cuisine you know in the menu Mm -hmm. so um there you know i think when i read when i see the website i see the social media it's comes out very strong very loud you know um in a fun way you know okay yeah but um but you have those kinds of influences here and they serve a variety of burgers and um and other items um for you know for their menu so do you remember what uh what you had there i had the i think it was the goyim mm-hmm. which is a uh the jubilee patty grilled pastrami uh bacon and melted swiss so that's not this right that's probably i think this is just the original jubilee that's the original jubilee yeah oh, I flipped on. so i don't think i have a picture of, of the one that you had unfortunately but no, I don't think this is the original. Did you get the Goyim or the, the Oive? What's the Oive? Oive? A Jubilee patty topped with roasted hatch green chilies and covered with steamed no. pepper jack cheese. Oh, no. I think that's what uh, maybe John, John had. John had that one. Okay. I think this is the original Jubilee because I don't think I ordered anything <laughs> okay. crazy. Um, so these Jubilee burgers, they're not smash burgers. Okay. They're like little, they're thicker patties. Mm-hmm. So, but... And I don't remember. They are on a plushy bun. I don't remember if it was a white bun or a potato bun. Um, but um, but you can see here in my case, you've got the meat, the cheese. They got shredded lettuce. That's how they serve that too. Potato. Potato? Well, potato. Well, potato bun, I mean. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I also ordered uh, a set latkes. of latkes. So yeah. um, like fried a potato, you know, fritters in there. Yeah. And um, so I enjoyed those too. But um, what did what were your thoughts? I we did discuss this to a certain extent, um, you know, with the others. We but did. what do you remember your thoughts on uh, on this burger? Um, it was decent. Yeah, but it was it was a relatively long line for what it was. It was it was, was very busy. It's a very popular spot. Yeah, you know, yeah. a lot of people. Even uh, it was close to. It wasn't too far from closing. Yeah, yeah day, that's uh, true. you know, closing time. Yeah, and there's still line out the door. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a solid burger, definitely. Yeah. But I don't know. The line was a little, little much. Yeah, you know, personally, I, I don't know. I really wanted to like this more than I thought I did. Mm. Um, but it, it was a solid burger, but it just wasn't to what uh, I guess maybe to what I think is the hype. I think yeah. Yeah, the expectation. Yeah. Um, it's a fun concept. I think I like the flavors that would be on there, uh, like from the the ones you were saying. Um, but I don't know. Just the burger itself, the patty. I think. I think a little. I need a little more from it. Mm, you know? Okay. Yeah, that's fair. But um, but I, was, I mean, it's fun. If you want to visit, if you're in the area, I mean, visit. Try it for yourself. It's uh, the Jew Boy. Yeah. I think the name just kind of just, you know, stood out. You know, it wasn't part of our plan originally. Um, this came up, like, yeah. I mean, not necessarily last minute, but it was like later in when the itinerary was, kind of already formed, and then, yeah, it just kind of came up. Really? Mm. Oh, okay. Or well, you can ask John. I have no idea because I think it was his uh, his discovery there. Mm. So. so blame him. I, I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> that and the fries. The fries were good too. I think the anything that was fried there it was pretty decent. Was was pretty good because yeah. they had fries, the tater tots, onion rings, of course, onion rings, latkes. So yeah. those those fried items were very good. I enjoyed those. So. Um, as you've seen, we've had a lot of uh, different food groups today. Surprising, yes. All things considered, we've talked a lot of different food groups. We've we've discussed one of my favorite food groups, 
we have barbecue and burgers, um, we have pizza and desserts and everything. All the and mains. Definitely the mains. Yeah. The foundations. Yes. The base of the food pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there, there will be more to come. So uh, thank you for joining us for another, um, another episode. And uh, we're excited to bring you more of our adventures with good food and good people. So just make sure to reach out. We're here on Instagram. I'm at Dumb and Hungry. He's at my underscore chow. You can email us at hi at dumbandhungry.com where you can send us your feedback and your love letters. Uh, you'll find the videos here on YouTube, and you can also find the audio wherever fine podcasts are served. But until next time, I'm Angelo. And I'm Macho. And on your next food adventure, remember to try with the beach. Oh, is that it? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Here we are once more. We are back once again. I um, help me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like blink once or whatever, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. Well, we wanted to uh, come back and um, kind of do a little bit of um, a discussion and uh, an overview here of the state of the pod. It's kind of what I wanted to had to bring up now and um, just kind of see where we're at and where we hopefully plan to be. Um, we've again, we've been off for a little while, several weeks here, um, but we're back and we wanted to continue bringing, you know, more, more things for you. Um, so, I mean, for you. Oh, for you overall, I think the state of the pod is, is there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's yeah yeah, yeah it's it, true it does exist yeah this, there is a state in which it exists yeah so I think that's a good start now whether that state is strong or um, stable stable <laughs> is uh, is another question and so we will um, I don't know I I would like to make sure that we work together to to continue bringing um, bringing our listeners. Uh, I don't know, worthwhile content and worthwhile stuff that's fun to listen to. You say that like that's anything we put out at this point. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we want to start doing that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair, that's fair. It's a good goal, good goal. Exactly. Um, You know, when we, when, uh, when we started this pod, um, it was, uh, it was really more of a way to tell uh, the stories of different pop-ups and restaurants that uh, we had visited or that I have visited and wanted to share kind of my experiences from them um, with, of course, like a visual component of the pictures and things that I've taken. And um, I there's still uh, several iterations I'd like to do for that. Um, you know, before I left on my, uh, on our trips and I had several outlines um, written up and uh, ready to go, but um, I think preparation for some of those trips kind of uh, kind of pushed back uh, my plans to uh, put those episodes out there. So there are still several that um, we need to work on, and those are the uh, the episodes that you know that you and I uh, do. Mm -hmm. And um, but uh, you know, the, in the limited, still in the limited time uh, that. Uh, people have seen uh, we've introduced um, others uh, to the crew here we have crew <laughs> okay I have to think <laughs> I have to think what kind of what name we have to give this <laughs> is that is that the name like a like a flock of geese yeah you know a, a murder, murder of crows <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the example we both came up with? Well, you know what? I know what. <laughs> no, we really feel. <laughs> Boy, yeah. So, um, whatever group we want to call it, but um, 
you know, we have Jamie, you know, and I know that uh, she has a lot to contribute and, you know, wants to. Um, more than I do, I'll tell you that much. Well, more than probably either of us, you know. And then we, you know, just had the uh, previous episode with Kat as well. And I think uh, she's a natural as well, you know, and a good addition to, um, you know, talking about food stuff um, casually or scientifically, you know. So it's it's great to kind of get good perspectives, I think, you know, aside aside from people that eat a lot, the end users, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like yeah. a license agreement. You're right, exactly. <laughs> um, but you have people that are that really have been in it um, and that uh, really contribute to the, the entire process of uh, the food experience. So um, we're still, you know, we're, we're putting stuff out there still with the, um, you know, still trying to navigate in, to some extent on the direction uh, that we want to really to do this. Again, we have the format of the storytelling and, and that that we have between the two of us. Um, but I, I find over time, you know, that is, it's possible that it can change. Um, you know, when you have more people, uh, involved, more panel members <laughs> or something, I, I think I'd use that. I think I used that word in the, in the previous episode. I'm like, and I, and I came out of my mouth. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> panel members. <laughs> okay. Is it town hall or something? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, see, my point exactly. Like, what kind of direction are we are we talking about here? But all I know is that um, there are stories that uh, you know I want to share, and places that you know we want to highlight, um, and just give our give our take whether um, whether it's actually meaningful or not to those who listen. I'm not sure, but I think it's something at least that we can enjoy, and then hope that others can follow as well you know i don't know my shot it's um when you think about it it's it you know we've been at it for quite for a little while already i don't yeah. know i mean what what would you say your what's your take on you In know what, six months maybe yeah not consistently though, right but on and off yeah but at least you know there's there's a, a decent amount of content out there yeah you know i mean to be fair, though, like we're talking about, you've mentioned before that from going forward, most of the places that are on your list, I haven't actually been to. <laughs> I think so, we're getting to that point, too. Yeah. I mean, early on, the places we definitely have been, but there are coming to places that you've yet to visit. Um, but I don't know. So in that regard, too, I imagine that the way that we share these stories right now, again, probably has to change. Um, but for now, we'll, um, the stories that do apply, we'll, we'll keep it up. And, um, I, I know we'll have to figure out a different way to, to go from there, you know, but, um, I don't know. You think, uh, I think you're still up for it. This sounds to me like a very public way of preparing for my layoff. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Your layoff. Yeah. Sounds like I'm about to be let go, which I'm not against <laughs> for the record. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Because the thing is, I don't know what contributions I'd have left uh, for those places, for the ones I haven't been to, you know? I don't know. I mean, that's fair, but I think um, I still enjoy... Uh, obviously the conversation and banter mm. that we have around that. Yeah. And at least someone to talk your ear off. So that's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like in sports commentating, right? You have two people, one who, one who does play by play and the other who does analysis. Sure. Or the color commentator. Yeah. I am the one who knows nothing, but we'll just talk, <laughs> <laughs> which is very weird being next to this one. <laughs> which is fine. Well, um, so as long as you're up to it, um, you know, uh, we'll be, we'll be still putting out stuff there. So what if I'm not? I don't know. You put me in a tough spot. <laughs> put me in a tough spot. Didn't think about it. Yeah. Worse. Oh God. <laughs> See, <laughs> this is the, this is the guilt trip way to get someone to stay. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Very good. <laughs> we'll see. Um, again, uh, I, I'm excited to, you know, have other, other voices in here as well. Um, but 
in some ways, I also kind of don't want to stray too far away right now mm. from where we started, you know. But we'll see. It's just kind of how things are. Things change over time. Yeah. But hopefully in a, you know, in a good way. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, that's, um, but we'll, we'll see where, um, what else? We'll, we'll try to, of course, be more, you know, consistent and regular with what we put out there. Yeah. Um, I think even the quality of our, you know, how we record um, will pr- may change over time. I mean, this is different. This is very impressive compared to what it normally is. I thought, I, you know, I think the, I personally think the, uh, the video call kind of format, I mean, is advantageous for me because, you know, I can use software to manipulate, the, you know, uh, the layout of the oh, presentation, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. we can switch between pictures easily and, you know, to have different elements on there. I don't know. I, yeah. in that regard, maybe from a technical standpoint, like I find it a little yeah, um, on that more side. flexible. But I mean, this side is just more consistent sound quality. <laughs> it's more consistent and uh, Easy, less headache overall. I think so. I think so. But see, that's why, you know, eventually you can do an OBS thing here. Yeah, we we set up. We still have this set up, uh, the streaming software set up here. Yeah, but just do it in person. That way, it's yeah. You can have but, the best know, of both worlds. But of course, like in person is is tough, right? I yeah, mean, we have different schedules. Not like, and it's not like we we're neighbors per se. Not like we can just walk down the street to each other's place. But um, and we have our own schedules, obviously outside of this. Yeah. Um. So we gotta. I guess it's just a matter of finding the time. I mean, I don't mind. I, you know, technology is here to, to still um, keep in touch with each other, even um, across distances. So we can still do it, um, but you know, it's just, of course, it's just a different level of quality, right? Yeah. So uh, maybe, maybe you do need to find a pro bono guy. <laughs> If you'd like to get paid an exposure, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Hi at dumbandhungry.com. <laughs> no, just, oh, man. No, just kidding. I can't do that. But uh, it's fine. Yeah. Again, yeah. for now, I, I I do consider this like a, a fun project. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and where it goes um, for all of us, we'll just have to see as we keep keep doing it. But as long as we can keep putting stuff out there, I think that's important. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so, and sooner or later, hopefully, we'll get all of us on at the same time. Yeah, that's we, mostly my fault. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like every single time we try to plan something. My weekends are never free. Yeah, is yeah. the problem. No, I get it. I get it. Um, but um, one one way or another, we'll um, we'll get there. Okay, but um, still, we'll put stuff out there. We'll keep it up, and we'll see what happens. Right. Uh, once again, I want to thank uh, all our listeners uh, that we affectionately call our only fans. <laughs> as there are far and f- few of you, but we appreciate it very much. So, um, thank you uh, to our only, only fans. fans. Yes. Yeah. So, wouldn't be anywhere without you. We wouldn't. So, anyway, that's it from us. We'll catch you next time. Save me. <laughs>